Okay. So next, let the set tau sub p be the particular point topology on the set X with the point P, the particular point, and let the sets U and C be non-empty, proper subsets, of the space X such that the set U and the complement of the set C are in the topology. So again we will look at the closure and the interior of the closure of these sets along with the entire set and empty set. Now the only closed set which contains the set U is the entire set in the particular point topology and the interior of the uh, entire set is the entire set. The uh, closure of the set C is the set C. Now the uh, only open set contained in the set C is the empty set. There are no non-empty uh, open sets that it can be contained in a set which does not contain the point P. And so every non-empty proper closed subset C in the space X is nowhere dense in space. Okay, so new definition. A topological space which we'll call X is separable if and only if it contains a countable dense subset. Now the term separable uh, requires some discussion. The term is known to have originated with uh, Maurice Frechet but it is not clear why he chose the word separable to denote a topological space which contains a countable dense subset. The condition of separability has nothing to do with uh, whether or not the space satisfies a given separation condition. In the com uh, complete works of uh, Felix Hausdorff, Hausdorff comments on this term well after it has been in use uh, or had been in use for some time. In essence he states that the term uh, has become uh, standard and acceptable or established term but that he uh, was unsure why uh, Frechet chose it again to denote a countable dense subset. So it is important to realize that uh, the term separable means that the space contains a countable dense subset and has nothing to do with the separation condition satisfied by a uh, given space. Uh, instead, uh, the condition of separability has much more to do with the countability of a uh, space and indeed uh, separability is a countability condition or is considered a countability condition. So, uh, separability is considered a countability condition
and the strongest countability condition satisfied by a given space a given topological space is a topological invariant. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Let tau sub i be the indiscrete or trivial topology on the set X. Then for every point X in the space, the singleton containing that point is a dense subset. In the space X. And so as it is a finite uh, dense set, it certainly is a countable set. And so the topological space with the indiscrete topology or the indiscrete uh, topological space is separable. So let tau sub d be the power set of x where the set x is countable. So we have the discrete topology on x. Then there are no dense subsets in the discrete space. And so a discrete topological space is not separable so next let tau sub p be the particular point topology with P the particular point. Then the singleton containing the point P is a dense subset in the space X with the particular point topology. And so this space is separable as it contains a finite dense subset, so certainly a countably, uh, or rather a countable dense subset. So next, let tau sub e be the excluded point topology on the set X with the point P, the excluded point. Then the only dense subset in the space is the complement of the singleton containing the point P. And so a topological space with the excluded point topology is separable only if the underlying set is countable. Okay, so let's now uh, look at a consolidation via a table of all the topological invariants that we have studied so far for the four uh, topological spaces that we have studied so far. And so uh, those properties are the number of isolated points in the space, 
the strongest separation condition satisfied by the space, whether or not the space is connected, and now we have a new uh, invariant, and that is the uh, strongest countability condition satisfied by a given space. Now we've only looked at one so far, and that is whether or not a space is separable, and so that's what we'll, we'll list here. Uh, we will soon see other countability conditions. So in the indiscrete topology, there are no isolated points. An indiscrete uh, topological space does not satisfy any of the separation conditions. An indiscrete space is connected. And an indiscrete topological space is separable. In the particular point topology, there is one isolated point. The strongest separation condition satisfied is the T0 or uh, Kolmogorov condition. A particular point, uh, a space with the particular point topology is connected, and the particular point topology is, rather, a space with the particular point topology is uh, a separable space. Now, in the excluded point topology, all but one of the points uh, is an isolated point. The strongest separation condition satisfied is once again the T0 or Kolmogorov condition. A uh, space with excluded point topology is connected and this space is separable if or only if The underlying set is countable. So now for the discrete topology, the entire set consists of isolated points. A discrete uh, topological space is T2 or Hausdorff. A discrete topological space is completely disconnected. and a discrete space is not separable. Okay, so while we are in a review mode, let's uh, review all the uh, equivalent conditions for open and closed sets. So a subset, A, is open in the topological space if and only if that set is in the topology. This is the definition of an open set. The set A is equal to its interior and which uh, is in turn equal to the complement of the boundary of A in the closure of A. The intersection of the boundary of A with the set A is empty. That is, an open set does not contain any of its boundary points. For every point, in the set, there exists an open neighborhood. U of X, such that that neighborhood is contained in the set A. Notice that this uh, statement is that every point in the uh, set A is, an is in the interior of the set A. And finally, a uh, set A, subset A, is open in a given space if its complement is closed.
and a subset A is closed in a given topological space if and only if the complement of the set is in the topology. This is the definition of a closed set. The set A is equal to its closure, which is in, in turn is equal to the union of the set A with the boundary of A. And uh, the closure of A is also equal to the union of the set A with the derived set of A. A closed set contains all of its boundary points. And a closed set also contains all of its derived uh, or cluster points. So it, the derived set is a subset of the set A. For every point in the set A and for every open neighborhood, of neighborhood U of the point X, the intersection of that neighborhood with the set A is not empty. So notice that this statement is that every point in the set A is in the closure of A. And finally, a uh, given set is closed if and only if its complement is open. Okay, so next we'll uh, prove a theorem that gives us uh, another property of the boundary of a set. So let the set X together with some uh, topology tau be a topological space. And let the set A be a subset of the space X. Then the boundary of the set A is empty if and only if the set A is both open and closed. So proof. Suppose that the boundary of A is the empty set. Then we have that the closure of A set minus the interior of A is empty. So as the interior of the set A is a subset of the closure of the set A, we can take the complement on both sides, the complement in the closure of A, so that we have the interior of A is the complement of the empty set in the closure of A, which is the closure of A. And as in general, the interior of A is a subset of the set A, which is itself a subset of the closure of A. And now that we have the condition that the interior of A is equal to the closure of A, we have that the set A is equal to its interior and the set A is equal to its closure. That is, the set A is both open and closed. So conversely, Suppose that the set A is both open and closed. Then, as the set A is open, it is equal to its uh, interior. And as the set is closed, it is equal to its closure. And so the boundary of A which is the closure of A, 
set minus the interior of A is the complement of the set A in itself, which is the empty set. 